What is going on everybody? It is Treep from Treep Talks here and before we hop into this discussing the tight end video there's a couple of things I need to address before this video starts. First things first I want to say that this interview we do talk about the tight ends but we do switch it up uh, towards the end because the tight end group man it, like, I didn't expect this to be like I would run out of questions so fast that I'd be like man I don't even know what to talk about with these tight ends so we just talk about the Jags uh, towards the end of the video and thing number two this interview was so rewarding like this kid he's a 13 year old kid and he tells me like I watch all your videos like I was waiting for this all week and the fact that I have people like that with such a small community of subscribers that are that diehard and that we're, are so excited to even be on the channel like I appreciate every single one of you more than you'll ever know and once this channel does skyrocket get huge then you guys can say you've been there from day one and I appreciate you guys so much I appreciate Trey as well so much for this video now let's hop right into this video I've kept you guys waiting long enough what is going on everybody it is Treeb from Treeb Talks as I have smoke coming out of my mouth because I just hit my vape anyway we are here for another discussing video here on the channel to talk about the Jacksonville Jaguar tight ends on my last positional outlook I asked you guys to guess a number in the comment section down below, whoever gets that number right first would get to be on the channel. So by default, here we got Trey on the channel, dude. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you guys? Hi, <laughs> hi. I'm very nervous. Yeah, you ever you ever make a YouTube video before? Uh, yeah. Well, it sucked. I had to. Uh, it sucked very badly. Dude, yeah, I mean, when I was your age, I was making YouTube videos, and I promise on God. Yours could not have been shittier than mine. Promise. <laughs> I can imagine. All right, dude. And uh, just for selfish reasons, I guess, uh, how'd you how'd you find the Tree Talks YouTube channel? Uh, I was looking at U UCF Jaguars, and um, I saw one of your videos back in like I think March, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. Another person about the Jaguars, you know, I could watch or anything. So I found yours, and I started looking at your looking at your videos, and I subscribed, and I watched your video since. Hey, dude, I appreciate that. A loyal, loyal fan in the building. Anyway, so we're here to talk about the Jaguars' tight ends, and before we kind of hop into this video, I always like to ask, you know, kind of just give your overall thoughts on the tight ends, what you look forward to this year, bud. Not really. I mean, it they're not they're okay. But I, I don't think – I don't ask much. I'm not going to, you know, have much from them. I'm not going to, like, you know, uh, how can I say it? I'm not going to be asking for much because, you know, there's not really much in the Jaguars' tight end position, really. Um, there's a little bit of experience. But, you know, Josh Oliver – um being a a third you know third round draft pick he's not going to be like he doesn't have experience i don't think they're going to cut him really but he's not going to start he's not going to start over uh, someone like oh shawna see or someone like that you know and that's i feel bad dude i should have i should have done this uh opportunity for a different position group cuz i was like man tight ends probably one of the most boring positions to talk about but I'm right there with you, you know, uh, Josh Oliver. Me and UCF have different opinions on that. I think that he would work in some other offenses. I don't know how well he'd work with the Jaguars overall. And you hit the nail right on the head, man. There's not a whole lot of talent to be talked about here. But if you had to pick one of these tight ends, uh, who do you see starting for at least most of the year next year? Yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, like, Julius Thomas – a couple years back, I mean, they're probably going to – he was, like, better than the um the tight ends we have now, which is not really nothing, really. Yeah. Um, we do have uh, – I think it's his name. Um, ben Koyak? Yeah, yeah, Koyak. Um, yeah, I can see, like, the competition with him and uh, Jane O'Shaughnessy, really, but they're going to probably be, like – you know, battling it out for that starting position because you're not going to have someone like, you know, Josh Oliver coming in, taking that spot already. 
and he's not all set up really. He he has a, has no experience. See, we know we know you're a real fan. You've been through the dark years. You threw Julius Thomas name out there. I didn't think I didn't expect Julius Thomas to be brought up in this video, but what a bust he was, man. I remember we got him from Denver because Peyton Manning made him good. You know, he was he was the guy. He was supposed to be that dude, but you know, that never, never really panned out. Now, uh, I want to go back to, because, you know, you're obviously, you're knowledgeable about the Jaguars, you know, you know what you're talking about. You're only 13 years old, you told me before this. Um, How'd you become a Jags fan, brother? Uh, You know, hometown, really. (laughs) Duval till you die, basically. Uh, I I mean, I was a little young, get that much experience, like, I don't remember it, really, but, you know, and I got older, and I realized and took note of everything later on. I feel you. I feel you. That's how, that's how it started with me, but I'm an Idaho boy, so, you know, freaking had to, had to find out through a video game. But, you know, let's, yeah. talk, about, let's talk about Nick Foles a little bit. You know, uh, we talk about how this tight end group doesn't have a whole lot of potential. Do you think Nick Foles brings out any of that potential in these guys? Do you see, you know, these guys – contributing to the offense or do you think they're just going to be kind of an afterthought like they were mostly last year uh Nick Foles coming in with the experience he have you know winning a Super Bowl um being a veteran almost you know a veteran in the game knowing what he's talking about knowing what well knowing what he's doing experience um helping them out a little but I don't think they're not going to really do much really now. So I feel that. I feel that, man. So um, we're talking about the tight end position group here. And James O'Shaughnessy is a guy that a lot of people in my position outlook video were like, hey, you're sleeping on James, dude. Like he had like a good 2017 campaign. But then at the same time, me personally, I'm sitting here like, you know, in 2017 he had 245 yards. But, I mean, maybe he showed that potential, you know, kind of – what do you what do you like from James O'Shaughnessy? You know, what do you what are you seeing in him in his game? Well, I see uh I don't I don't really think the blocking's nowhere really, but like if he's like open sometimes, like he's a good guy to pass to get you a little bit of yards, but not not that much. I mean, but he has a little bit more experience than every other one saying that he has way more yards than everyone else. All right, bro. So that's about much we can talk about the uh, tight ends, but I'm not going to I'm not going to let you uh off the hook here. We'll, we'll we'll make this a little bit fun like I said in my position outlook. So, you know, when you f- when you first watched the Jaguars, who is the first player you fell in love with? Who's your first favorite Jaguar player? I would say Bortles. I would go with Blake Bortles, <laughs> but you know, he's trash. No, dude, I love that answer, though. I love that answer. I loved Blake Bortles from the second he came in, dude. Like, Blake Bortles was my guy. Were you were you one of those people that were defending Blake Bortles even when he was playing trash, or when he started to play trash, you kind of came around? Yeah, like, I, I was the guy that, you know, like, come on, we'll give him one more chance, just a little bit. But after this season, like, last season, I was just like, oh, I can't, I can't defend him anymore. He's trash. So were you were you were you watching like when Maurice Jones Drew was playing, or was that a little bit after you started watching? Uh, it's a little bit after I started watching. A little bit after. So Leonard Fournette's really your first Jaguar running back you've had to take in. What do you what do you expect out of him this year, man? Hopefully, I I, I hope he comes he comes through this year. You know the the previous year he wasn't like he wasn't a good running back. He was injured and then he came in making mistakes and it's just not good it's not a person you want to have as a running back so you thinking this is a bounce back year 2017 type shit or do you think it's going to be like 2018 or do you think it's going to be somewhere in the middle uh somewhere in the middle because it's not you know it's not 2017 he has been in the nfl like two years now um it's going to be kind of in the middle because last year was not a good season at all for him. So what is what do you think the Jaguars are going to do this year? Let me let me hear what you would say their record's going to be. Do they make the playoffs? What are you thinking? I think Nick Falls with his pulls, they're going to make the playoffs. Maybe they might go like a little – I think they have at least one more record. 
two more wins. They'd be probably eleven and five. I, I'll say eleven and five. Eleven and five. That's a good choice. That's honestly what I. If the my thing is, is the Jags have a tough game against Kansas City Week One. If the Jags go out there and they beat Kansas City Week One, this is the team we have. And that's, I think that's gonna be a good season. It's that if we go out there beating a team that you know already set, that's really already set up. A team like that, you know, already, I think this should be a good season. You know, that that should have been the game to kick off the season. I mean, you got both defending AFC runner-ups. You know, Nick Foles is the quarterback, but, you know, the, the NFL doesn't really like our Jaguars. Now, a big question for you is, you think the Jags go 11-5? and five. Are two of those losses to the Titans this year? Do you think the Jags finally beat the Titans this year? I don't think they're going to lose two games to them, but they're going to lose one to them. They got the best of them. And they're probably going to get the best of them once. It, it, it almost feels like with the investment in the Titans rivalry, because I don't know if you have a Twitter, but on Jaguar Twitter, we be beefing with Titans fans all the time. And I feel like it just it gets into our heads. You know, uh, J, they posted a picture of Jalen Ramsey in a Titans shirt the other day, and you're just like, why? Why does this need to happen? Now, you, we obviously know this Jalen Ramsey, Yannick Ngakwe situation. Um, who are you th- do you think the Jags bring back one, both? What are you thinking? Uh, they should. I feel they should bring back both. I don't, I don't see no reason not to bring back both of them, which would really be kind of a bad decision. But if they had to go with one, I think they should at least bring back Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey, JR20. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to wrap up this video. This was discussing the tight end groups with my guy, Trey. Do you have any links you want to plug? People follow your Instagram, Twitter. What do you want to do? Uh, Just go check out my YouTube channel on the rise. I'm going to be talking about sports wrestling. Sport, sports know, wrestling? EW, things like that. Wait, WWE, like wrestling like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, okay, let's not end the video just yet. We're talking we're talking WWE. That's what I like to hear. Who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, I like The Rock. And I was a sort of a Dean Everett fan, but, you know, I'm not anymore. The Rock? Huh? Dude, you, you're reaching back there. You've been watching some old tapes, haven't you? You, you got the WWE Network? Yeah. I actually was just watching it earlier today. What is uh, – what older wrestler have you kind of – fallen in love with since you've kind of been watching the older stuff besides the rock somebody else oh people like the undertaker stone cold <laughs> uh batista batista's my all-time favorite dude batista uh this youtube channel is actually called batista b619 before it was Treeb talks <laughs> wow I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's my that's my guy. Are you watching any of the uh, the AEW stuff? Or are you more like a just a WWE guy? I'm a WWE guy, but you know, I want to see. I don't want to just shut it down already. I don't want to shut AEW down. I mean, I feel like it's a good competition. They're at war right now. One's got to win, so it'd be good. It'd be a good topic to talk about. I'm telling you, dude. Anytime you want to talk wrestling on your channel. You can have me on. Just hit me up. You got my Instagram. I will love to talk wrestling with you, bro. Yeah, that that'd be a good this this it it'll be a good thing in the future. I don't set up. I'll think about something else. <laughs> All right, man. And what is your YouTube channel so people know? Uh, I think I'm going to change it change it later. But right now it's Trail Around Point Two, or however you want to say it. However you you know to remember it. Alrighty, guys, that was discussing the tight ends with a little bit of wrestling splash in there as well. If you guys haven't already, you can go ahead and check all links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.